my name is Kent Nagano. I'm a musician and a conductor of orchestras, and I come from San Francisco, California. I was here at the very beginning when Martin Engstrom and Avi Shoshani were just mounting the festival. So for the first four years I came and uh, saw an enormous amount of growth. And I haven't been back now for maybe 10 years now, so it's been a very exciting uh, uh, occasion to see how, how much the festival has grown. I grew up in a small town, a small village really, far, far away from any metropolitan center. And uh, since we lived a very simple life, our dreams could come true by playing in the symphony orchestra. We dream about traveling to far exotic places uh, like Switzerland, for example. <laughs> we dream about leaving the small village and, you know, uh, having romantic adventures, courageous adventures, um, brilliant ex exploration of our imagination. All of us little kids that belong to this uh, young symphony orchestra. I never saw a real reason why I should stop opera or stop symphonic work. Historically, the two are linked together. Um, they're brother and sister or uh, parent and child. So it is unnatural to separate them. So that was, I suppose, what lie be, lay behind the fact that I've always kept both sides of the repertoire very, very active. Coming here to Verbier to conduct a symphonic program, uh, after six weeks of running an opera festival, and then now going back to, um, to my orchestra in Montreal and running a symphony uh, festival. Uh, it's, it's for me, uh, it feels very, very rich to be inclusive rather than excluding repertoire. Every time we have auditions, the choice of talent that we have coming up is extraordinary. And I remember when I first auditioned to get into an orchestra, um, that's what the existing members of the orchestra also said, that, oh my goodness, the, you youngsters coming in, you have so much more talent, I could never dream of that. And we see the same phenomenon now, that today's young musicians are the highest educated, the technically most advanced, uh, the most experienced, uh, with the broadest exp um, perspective than we've ever had, I think, in all of musical history. And this is such an exciting thing to see. It means that the fresh water coming into classical music, it's not going to simply sit still and become a museum. It's not going to stagnate at all. Of course, this fresh talent coming in brings ideas and energy, exactly what it is that we need to make sure that classical music will continue what it always has been. What could be more exciting than having uh, the knowledge of the current generation combined with the energy and the force and the technical uh, expertise of the up and coming generation? To me, I see, um, I see with all of this remarkable talent, a great potential and a great promise that classical music is not only going to survive, but actually it's going to flourish in the 21st century. It's not exclusive at all, classical music. It's meant to be the one thing that makes us all equal. We can't all be uh, a famous golfer. We can't all be a famous uh, baseball player or a, or a basketball player. Uh, we can't all be famous, rich tycoons who have invented the internet. But we can all share an experience when we go to a symphony concert or go to an opera and experience that something very, very human and beautiful. Sharing beauty, I think, is something that, that really makes us come together as humans. <laughs>